Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Old school with you here, and I know it has been a very long time, and those of you that have frequented this channel for a while and are fans of the Disney Infinity experience, you know why I've stopped. This is not me getting back into it. This is me finishing something that I started. And that's really what this is all about. Nothing more than that. There won't be any new builds coming. But this was the video, or the toy box rather, that I did called Quake. And basically what we're doing is building a cinematic type of earthquake effect in a city. Different camera cuts going all the way around. And last time we left off, we pretty much had it happening that way so we got all the explosions and sound effects and the rumbles and the camera moving around to give you that effect that the ground is starting to just go crazy so now what we're going to do is add the next steps which is going to be where parts of the earth start coming up from below as the plates shift around and things of that nature uh, that's probably going to be about the end of where i take this i'm, I'm not going to do too much more than that might have a couple of cars flipping or something. I don't know. I haven't got that far into the thought process yet. But, uh, yeah. So, anyway, that's where we're at. So, it's been a minute. It's going to take me a little bit of time, I'm sure, to kind of get my bearings back again. So far as these moving earth pieces, it'll probably end up being wood blocks since I don't think you can get the terrain to cooperate. Um... What I need to do is figure out what will be on camera. So as you see, there's a camera down here bouncing up and down. And it's going to catch some of the action. What I might probably do is actually use different cameras just for this to make sure I'm getting the exact look that I'm wanting. Uh, not worried about the collision issues that we're seeing right now because at the end of the day, if I need to, I can just use our locators and it'll pop them in wherever I need them to be. But I'm just trying to figure out where I think will be a good view of the effect of so basically what this will do is it'll be below and it'll slowly just kind of crush up as if the earth is lifting and there'll be maybe two of these i'm not sure quite how much i want to then we'll also throw in some special effects as well so it's gonna be a it's gonna be a thing all right so what i'm gonna do right now is i'm thinking at least too wide and probably too deep before I get too far along, I want to make sure that uh, we get and theme these. So I need something that's going to look earthish or lava-ish. I don't necessarily want lava, though. I don't know. Maybe I do. Let's see what this looks like. Yeah, it's not going to work. More and more, I'm thinking the lava is not a bad idea. Only thing is, I gotta double check. I don't know with the lava blocks if you can put them on a pathfinder or not. Like I said, it's been a minute. There we go, lava. Don't need the blocks. That's exactly what I'm looking for. So we're going to set that theme for the rest of these blocks. And now I'm going to just individually hit these. Because I don't think I put any wood blocks in this build yet. But if I did, it's going to change all of them. And that's going to suck. So, whoopsie. Like I said, it's going to take me a minute to get my bearings back. This whole thing will just kind of lift up a little bit. There'll be some rumbling. We'll put some special effects on that as well. 
And I do kind of like the idea of the car getting tossed somehow. Uh, hmm, not so sure how I'm making that happen, though. Now let's start with this first. So we're going to need to go to our creativities. Path creator. And let's see. I'm going to do a couple over here, I think. One, two, three down. properties here turn it off speed we're gonna bring that down to about 20% so we want it to be a slow move it's not going to be looped that should be fine So now we start connecting and allocating. Uh, I think in this case, do I want to go top down or? Yeah, I think I will. So our new path connection. Pop that there. Now we got to start positioning these things individually. Property, toy box path. Uh, we're going to leave that off. Yes. Horizontal. Okay, there we go. So that'll be two. course it's not gonna let me see it uh i forgot how much fun this part is i feel like that needs to drop down one more By one more, I mean two more. I'll see you in a second. All right. Oops. stacks nicely and it's lined up perfectly so that worked out probably should have done the other square no, take it back we don't have another square we're good or do we yes we do the path connection yeah now we're gonna have to Negotiate this one, so it should just go down vertically four, if I'm not mistaken. Thank you for leaving me in screen. That's 
that's the down part. Now we gotta get the... Horizontal... Or that one might go up too, actually. Let's see. Is that right? Looks like it. Yes. Okay, so those are done. And it just leaves this guy. And once again, I'm going to go to our path creator. Stick with the four, I think that would be right. Vertical. Oop. Not so sure about the vertical. Let's see. Quite there yet. Let's see. All right, we need to move down, which is our vertical. At least one more or two more. We'll see, and then forward like two more. So from our vertical, we want to go two more down, horizontal. Let's go to zero. That might do it. Let's see. No, that still isn't quite right. Because that's now lined up even with the other one. Let's see. And we need it to move forward and down. Oh, it's already down there. Never mind. Now we're screwed. <laughs> All right, so trying to grab that bugger is going to be almost impossible. So what you got to do here is disconnect the path creator, and it's, and it's not a bad issue to have because that'll take that block out of the way, and now it allows us to grab this one. When we rehook the block, it'll have all the memory of the settings, so it'll go right where it needs to go. And now what we need with this guy is to move forward four. And that is our horizontal. At least four. And that's the wrong direction, so negative four. Let's see if that works. Nope, six. I was actually thinking it might have needed another two after that, but here we go. Six is the magic number. What the hell just happened there? Did I do the wrong one? Um, I did horizontal instead of vertical, didn't I? Get those confused. Toy box path. Vertical. Yeah. Horizontal. Let's see. I think it's still off now. Alright, we need it to move 
up two, and forward one. Horizontal has to go one more? Or is it just not quite lined up perfectly? Well, there's no reason for that, because they're blocks. Let's see. Horizontal. Vertical. Let's take a look. No, it's got to, it just wasn't, oh, wait a minute. Maybe forward one more? I wish you could just see the freaking blocks. Yeah, damn, this pisses me off. Alright, I'm just gonna move one at a time at this point because it's getting ridiculous. Horizontal. down to or one. I'm going to do two. And that is finally correct. Man, what a pain in the ass that was, huh? When you can't see what you're doing, man, it definitely takes the fun out of it. All right, here we go. New path connection, and the good thing about this is all the memory's already there, so it's going to be right where it needs to go. There it goes. Alright, so that section is set. A um, couple little things we're going to want to do. And... We want to go... Here we go. Oh, seriously? I thought it would be this that I would be controlling this with, but I might have to go into the blocks. Yeah. Alright, well, it's going to be a little more time consuming. Toy box path. Yep, that's right. Okay. We do not want it to loop one way and stop. If you don't do that, it's going to be a hot mess. And then I do that for each block. I thought I could control that with the path creator, but I was mistaken. Prop 
property is toy box path. One way and stop. So again, this is just going to look like the earth is kind of buckling and coming up through the ground surface. And you can do as many of these as you want. I'm just going to do these two sets. And I'll put them in two different locations. But it'll be the same logic that you see me doing here. So I will cut the video. And you'll just know that's how the other part happened. Okay, so here's where we're at right now. I just did the second segment of the ground that's going to come up. And here's what we've got going on with that. First off, I did it above ground, and then I just took the path creators and sank them below. Uh, when you do that, the blocks will stay above ground until you save it back out and then reload it, but then they will fall below the surface. But it's just a whole lot easier to work on them above ground where you can see everything. And it saved a lot of time that way as well, so that's what I'm going to recommend you do. In the meantime, I've got now a locator here for this effect generator, which is going to shoot large chunks of concrete. That will start, and then slowly, while the concrete's rumbling and starting to pop up there, uh, we're also going to have the ground start rising up through the roadway in this case. And what's going to make that all happen is after our last camera is activated, and I think it's on a five second timer so that once it turns off, then it's going to cut over to here. Well, the other thing we're going to put over here is another camera to make sure we don't miss the money shot. And we'll use that same locator that's going to be spitting up all the debris. So we're guaranteed to get a great shot. So let's go and grab us a camera. As always, we're going to take the target camera. I'm going to just put it right there. Uh, do I want face on or do I want an angle? I think we'll go with an angle. And again, the camera itself has not got to be turned or anything like that. It's always going to shoot uh, in the direction of its locator. So we're going to connect this locator to the camera. And yes, you can use a single locator for multiple items. And then new logic connection when this is triggered not only is it going to do the special effect but it is also going to activate the camera let me go to my properties define duration and then we're going to go down to five seconds Go from triggering to all players. Glow through is off. Otherwise, you'll see the little green outlines of characters and things like that, which I don't like personally. And that should be good. Then after five seconds, it will deactivate. And then what that'll do is it'll end up starting us over at the next one. Um, so we got the big debris coming up there, and I want to add another special effect. New logic connection again. When this is triggered, it's also going to trigger this one to play loot. And we want smoke, large area smoke. New locator also go here for this effect so that locator is a busy guy it's got the camera and two special effects now I'm gonna leave all of this above ground until I actually run the final test with all of it happening but presuming it works as it should I can't think of a reason why it won't then I'll come back in and I will sink this stuff below the surface and we'll be pretty close to done, really. Uh, again, I haven't quite figured out what I want to do with traffic. There's plenty of room in this box memory-wise. 
So if you want to put cars on this roadway, you can easily do that. Just put your path creators down and have them follow the road around. If you want to put traffic in there, you could put a bunch of pedestrians out here as well. You could even have them change their emotions as the earthquake starts kicking in where they go frantically screaming around. Uh, there's a ton of stuff, but this one was really only about the special effects. So... I'm probably not going to go much further than finishing up the ground coming up and through the surface because that's one of the things, uh, and again, if you don't remember how this thing started out, it was a movie with Dwayne The Rock Johnson. It wasn't called Earthquake. What the heck was it? San Andreas, I think it was. And when I was watching that and the special effects they did, I said, yeah, you could do a pretty close facsimile of that on Disney Infinity. And here it is all this time later, and I'm just getting around to almost completing it. It's about the journey. Let's not forget. All right. Um, what I'm going to do is borrow that and put another one over here. Uh, let's see. That's going to come there. So I want ideas for it to block. This wouldn't be a bad place to set up. Oh, I don't think he can, though, because of the collisions. I was thinking about some outdoor tables and stuff like that, and then you could have people start, like, freaking out right here in this open area, but let me see if it'll let that happen. All right, so we got that, and then we need two effect generators. connection when this is deactivated after its five second run we will play looped impact large concrete and when that is triggered at the same time we're going to play looped area smoke hopefully it won't be so smoky that you don't see the ground burrowing up but we'll see and if that's the case we'll just have to do a separate locator and sink it so that it's a little less obnoxious but I think that'll be okay and then the last but not least we're going to need a bigger boat no. take another camera and just like we did before, this time I think I might try a different angle. And like turning the camera there really does nothing other than <laughs> appeases my OCD. <laughs> All right, so we're going to drop that there. The camera is always going to shoot towards whatever locator you connect it to. So. And there's your camera target. This is triggered. We are going to activate. And then let's go here. Let's go to our properties. And again, we'll do five seconds. Target is connected locator. Go 
flow through is off. And there we have that. And then last but not least, new logic connection. When that is triggered, we need to turn that on. All right, now just for fun, let me see if we're able to put something down in here. So I want those little outdoor tables. Uh, I'm trying to remember what I have those under, though. I always forget. Not as obvious as it should be. It's not set pieces. I always feel like it's here, but then I don't find it. But let me see. I think it's near the San Francisco stuff. Oh, no, there it is right there. Boom. All right. If we can sink these down here, can we? Oh, it will cooperate. Okay. So let's get and just drop a couple down here. And I don't think it'll be in camera range, but that's okay. Put a couple there. So now what we can do, and this will be another cool little effect. Uh, we want to get our townspeople, I believe. I haven't messed with this too much. Not cast members. All right, so we're going to take some townspeople. Any particular... There we go. What we want to do very quickly is get to their properties, behavior, stand still. behavior stand still probably I can do a lot of them but you can it'll probably look a little bit more realistic if you had a bunch you could also put a path creator down so that they don't disappear and they're just maybe walking back and forth until their moment to act comes in He's already getting away from me. All right, there you go. Stand still. Okay, I'm just going to do the three. Now, what we can do here is... New logic connection. When the point is reached by the object on the path, have them pretty much freak out. Let's see what we got here. Play looped. Uh, shoot. Could have sworn they had a, uh, let's see. There is a way, and maybe it's not with the townspeople. Or 
maybe there's a logic piece that goes in here to make that happen. Um, way back in the old days when they had the Disney TV YouTube channel. They had done one. Well, let me see. Townspeople. It would have to be townspeople. What else is there? All right. In that case, there might be a logic that controls that. Let me see. You can always go. There's, there's videos. Matter of fact, I've got a bunch of the old ones right here on this channel, and it wouldn't surprise me if one of them is posted already. Creativity toys is what I feel it would have to be under. <clears throat> It'd be actually nice to have just one creativity toy that would affect multiple behaviors. Effect generator. I don't think it'd be under effect at all now. Narration action. Ooh, that might be it. Let's see if it is. All right, we're going to say new logic connection when this is triggered. There we go. Celebrate, lament, trip, float, freeze, knock back, web, shock. No, that's electricity. Float, shaving cream, sludge, fear, tech, paint. University glitch, pixie dust. Come on, come on, come on. Blue grid. Ah, bummer. Not what I thought when I saw. Action enforcer. Yeah. Random object, boss fight, enemy, friendly. to go and do some exploring to figure this one out. I'll be right back. Okay, we are back, and it was a simple... I was there. I don't know. I guess I just didn't... Think. I was thinking about fear or running or something like that, but it's actually just uh, not that hard at all. It's the word flee. Not like the one you get with your pets, but the one that you do when faced with imminent danger. So in this case, I just said that when this is triggered, we want to go over here. And I went to each individual character. Now I can't grab one, of course. There we go. And let's see. Effect generator. So when it is triggered, it is going to loop the behavior of flea. And then they're all going to just start scattering around. All right. I think we are set. to go. Um, I'm going to save because you should always do that in case something is awry then we don't have to redo things. I knew it was going to be something simple. Okay, uh, so we're going to save this under Quake. And I was thinking a little bit more about the whole thing of having the cars go flying around. And I've got a way of doing that, I think. Almost positive. So I'll probably drop one in there just to show you how it can be done. And uh, after that, it's up to you guys. You know, If you want to build one of these yourselves, there's a lot more you can do with it. Like I said, you could put traffic down there. You can 
have a lot more pedestrian activity taking place. But like I said, for what I want to do with this, uh, it would be a lot of <laughs> a lot of fleeing going on. So since there doesn't appear to be a way to universally affect all of the NPCs in the game, uh, the one at a time thing just seems like a little much for me. Okay, let's test this out. Seldom ever works on the first attempt. It'd be a nice change if this was not one of those. Alright, there's our earthquake kicking in. We've got our rumble effect taking place. There's a flea going on. The earth starts to come up. I would have liked that to go a little longer. Alright, not perfect. Um, we didn't get the first camera cut, which was the road. Which is odd. Why would it... Hmm... And this is why we go back to load. Um, I will extend the other camera to about seven seconds because the ground was just starting to come up at that time. But I think the problem is it went to that camera when it should have gone to the first one. That would make more sense. Not making more sense that it happened, but more sense in the camera cut that we got. Okay, and we're back, and here's the only real change I made, and that is that I made sure, this was set for, I think, eight seconds for some reason. Cut it back to five seconds, which is probably why we missed a lot of the other video camera. Uh, but then when it turns off, it'll press this button, and that will go directly to the other camera to get it going, and make sure we don't have any of those problems again. And then over here, we're going to try an experiment with getting the cars to leave the ground momentarily. And that is with a wind generator that I have below the surface. So let's see what happens. Yep, there it goes. And there I goes. Okay, and that turns it back off again. But as you see, the car did go flying. So I would put it on like a two second delay type thing or one second just to get the car to go boom. So what, what we could do is we could put that over here since we're going to have the roadway kind of doing its little thing anyway. Hopefully the camera angle will catch it. shouldn't have to move this because I think it all kind of works together. But just to be on the safe side, let's see if I can get that locator back. should affect the entire map, but just to be on the safe side. And we'll leave this above ground so that it's easier to locate if I need to. And we'll take this. Yeah, I guess we do need to have it pretty close proximity because as you can see, the weather vane itself changes position. We want 
to be pretty much straight up and down. And I set the effect to, I think, 25. Let's double check that. Video properties, 33 on the force. And it affects everything. Uh, let's see something about that, though. What are our other choices? Players, friends, and vehicles. Oh, okay. There you go. Now it'll only affect the vehicle. Okay. So what I want to do is put a delay down here. Or not a delay, but a timer. Because I only wanted to go for like two seconds. Just enough to get the car to jump. started. We will turn that on. New logic connection when timer expires. Turn it off. And we're going to set the properties for a total of two seconds. Oh uh, yeah, there's a minimum, isn't there? Uh, try five. No, I think it's got to be double digits. Yeah. Alright, well, it's going to go for 10 seconds. <laughs> that car going to go flying. Let's try something different then. Connection when triggered. That'll turn it on. And then how about when the point is reached by the object on the path? I feel like this one might work. Once again, though, we're going to save everything first, so I'll be right back after that. Okay, we are back, and we're going to try this thing out and see how it goes. Still missing that first camera cut. Finally, I think we have reached the point where everything is working properly, but it didn't go without having to make some adjustments. So here are the adjustments I made. I put a separate timer. If you remember, we had one up here a moment ago, and I've already put everything below the surface, but we had the timer that was set for 15 seconds over here. Then I did a second one for 20 seconds, and I put that over here. And that is what's going to launch that first street camera, if I can locate it. Somewhere back here we go. So the 20 second mark is going to launch this camera, which will show us the car and the road blowing up and things like that. 
then it'll come over to here to where we'll see the chaos as the ground starts to come up over here. This will be my first run through, but it should work now. As you can see, there's still plenty of memory left in this toy box, so you can add to it and fill it out as much as you like. folks the only thing I might want to change on that is the speed that the ground pops up over there there is panic in the streets this one over here came up a little fast I think But other than that, it might slow down the path to about 70%, maybe. Just to give it a little bit more of a slow rolling effect. All right, well, that is about it for that. Once again, this is probably gonna be the last toy box build that I do. If you enjoyed this series, I appreciate you being part of it. I'm still gonna have other videos coming out that'll have nothing to do with Disney Infinity, but feel free to stick around and check those out. In the meantime, everybody have a great rest of your day, and thank you so much for being a part of this. Take care until next time. So long, everyone.